hey guys, I'm going to be going over the development of the kidney and the or the embryology of the kidney all the way from its humble beginnings to the adult kidney. So we're going. I'm going to actually make this very very simple for you. It's very hard to understand if, especially you're just looking at this and you don't know what it is. So just ignore everything that's up there right now. We're going to get to it, and by the end of it, you'll understand it all. So. Where does it all begin? It all begins at a congregation of cells called the blastema. Or the blastula, sorry. And what the blastula is, is essentially a sphere of cells with a liquid center. Why is that important? Why should I know what a blastula is? It's important because that was you in the beginning. It's the beginning of every human or person. This turns into this, if you're lucky. So, what's the next step after the blastula? A process called gastru gastrulation turns the blastula something like this and don't let that scare you so through a process of gastrulation we get a gastrula and essentially the gastrula is made up of the ectoderm the mesoderm and the en and the endoderm so the process of gastrulation from the bla blastula gives us these three layers we are so exposed to. So, the outer layer would obviously be the ectoderm, the ecto. The inner layer is obviously the endoderm. And the middle one is obviously the mesoderm. Obviously, obviously the mesoderm. So, just to simplify that, and you'll always see, whenever anyone is describing embryology, you'll always see them like this. This oversimplified, Ectoderm layer, mesoderm middle layer, endoderm bottom layer. But if you've never been exposed to this, you wouldn't have any idea as to what that is, even now. You're probably still looking at this and wondering, what is this? This is a simplification for this. So, endoderm, you're, you're looking at it and you're saying, that's the bottom, it's not the inner. But it's the inner in the way that this is what we're looking at right here. So the outer layer, the, end, the ectoderm in blue, The inner layer in red, the mesoderm, M for middle, mesoderm. And then the inner layer, endoderm. And the endoderm is also, it's, it's all the green, is the endoderm. If you don't know anything, just learn that the blastula will end up turning into these three layers called the gastrula. And these three, just look at it as this way. So this is a cross-section of the embryo. We have the ectoderm, mesoderm, endoderm. If you don't understand anything about embryology, at least know this. At least know the three layers. Ecto, meso, endo. Know those. Okay. So I've drawn a couple of more mature uh, slices of the embryo. Essentially what happens is that the ectoderm folds to form this neural fold which it ends up pinching. So, just step one, step two, step three, step four. Don't let it confuse you because we still have the mesoderm, I mean the ectoderm here, we still have the mesoderm here, and we still have the endoderm here throughout all of them. This is still the, en the ectoderm, this is still in red the mesoderm, and in green that's still the endoderm. Okay, so as it matures, the mesoderm pinches, I mean, sorry, the ectoderm pinches and forms this neural tube, which I will label but not talk much about because it has nothing to do with kidneys. We're just going to stick to kidneys, okay? So, in red, we are left with the mesoderm. 
And I think it's important for you to know what makes up the mesoderm, at least at this stage. So the first glob globlet thing here, let's just, this first receptor-like looking mesoderm, that's called the paraxial mesoderm. And that gives rise to skeletal muscles, tendons, cartilage, and the dermis. The next one we have, which is the important part because this is to do with the kidneys now, is this other uh, ball-looking thing that you can easily discern as a, its own structure, is the intermediate mesoderm. Intermediate mesoderm gives rise to the kidneys, gonads, genitals, and then the final part, this thing that looks like a couple of plates, just happens to be called the lateral plates. Lateral because it's on the side. And finally, this intermediate mesoderm is called intermediate because it's in the middle. Okay. This is what you should know. The mesoderm, paraxial mesoderm, intermediate mesoderm, lateral plates. Know that. Oh yeah, and the lateral plates, uh, they're developed into circu circulatory vessels, etc. Okay, so how does, what does this have to do with the kidneys? Let's get into it. You have probably never seen this before, or are looking at this and saying, what? But don't worry, you will fully understand what this is. This is the intermediate mesoderm. So right here, but this being a cross-sectional view, this is the longitudinal view. So just flip this up and you'll see this, okay? But then again, this is not in one time frame. This, as it goes from the top, is in early, uh, early uh, kidney development to the late kidney development, but we'll go through it. So, the kidney is developed in three stages. Two of them are transitory, and the third one is our final product. So the transitory just means we're going to begin with one structure, we're going to ditch that, go to the next structure, ditch that, and then we're going to be left with the third one, which is what the adult kidney is. So the first transitory is called the pronephros. The pronephros is here in red. And the kidney develops caudally to, I mean, sorry, cranially, caudally, caudally. So from head to tail, top to bottom. So what happens is this part is developed, so it goes like this. As the kidneys are being developed, uh, as the kidneys are being developed, as time passes, one week, two weeks, the pronephros is developing. And that's the first part of the kidney, okay? And then by about four weeks, the, the, and by about four weeks, the pronephros is degraded and the next stage takes over. The next stage, so from here to here, that's called the meso, mesonephros. So as, as the mesonephros is being developed, the pronephros is degraded away and is no longer because it's a rudimentary structure. It's only temporary and is the first stage of the kidney development. So the pronephros is gone and then the me mesonephros takes over. But what's the mesonephros? It's composed of, a, uh, it's made up of a duct system called the mesonephric duct. The other name is Wolfian duct. And it also has a lot uh, a tubules. So mesonephric tubule. Okay, it's pretty simple. If you Put time and effort in. So, what I've circled here around this, where the mesonephric 
section is, is this blue, it's tissue, it's mesenchymal tissue, and it's called the nephrogenic core. What is a nephrogenic core? It's just tissue. It's, me uh, it's mesenchymal tissue. And that will help develop into other structures that we'll go through later. So, we have the mesonephric tubules, these fork-like things that are ducts, and the mesonephros is actually a functioning kidney, but it's still immature. It's the second transitory phase, and it'll be developed into other things. What is it developed into? So, from this mesonephric duct, caudally, a ureteral bud is formed from. So this right here is a ureteral bud, or the metanephric diverticulum. Okay. So from this ureteral bud, the metanephric diverticulum, that is part of the final stage, the permanent stage of the kidney, which is called the metanephros. <coughs> so we have metanephros, mesonephros, transitory phase, pronephros, which is gone. So by about the ninth week, we've got the mesonephros. So, the ureteral bud, though, is only for the collecting ducts, so it will eventually form the minor calyx, major calyx, uh, ureter, uh, pelvic, uh, renal pelvis. But we still need the nephrons and its vasculature and everything. But where is that coming from? So, where that comes from is, do you remember we spoke about this meso, the, the nephrogenic cord, that's mesochymal tissue? The sacral part of it, probably about a third of the bottom part of it, will become uh, meta, metanephric blastula, uh, blasting. So this will eventually come off and circle around the ureteral bud. So the metanephric blastula. So the metanephric blastula is derived from the sacral part of the uh, nephrogenic cord, which is just tissue. And what happens is, as these no longer become kidneys anymore, and so the, so the mesonephros actually becomes the, the genitals. So it was a kidney but at, at one point, and it still is a kidney, but just the, the bottom third of it, because the rest is going to become the genitals. So, we have here, and it kind of is starting to look like a kidney as well. It's surrounding the ureteral bud, and what happens is, so if we're looking at this one, the ureteral bud will bifurcate into the minor major calyxes, and the blastema will form these vesicles, and the vesicles will attach to the newly grown Ducts, and that's how the kidney is, is developed. So, to summarize everything, we have we have a blastula. Gastrulation will lead it to the three layers of the ectoderm, mesoderm, and endoderm. And as it matures, it'll fold. The, I mean, the ectoderm will fold, and the rest will mature. Um, the neural tube will pinch off the ectoderm, and if we focus only on the mesoderm, we have the paraxial mesoderm, the intermediate mesoderm, and the lateral plates. The important thing for kidneys is the intermediate mesoderm. So just this, that's the important part for the kidneys. Looking at it uh, uh, longitudinally, the kidney is developed in three stages, pronephros, which is temporary, it's fully degraded. Mesonephros, which is also temporary, but also becomes uh, the genitals eventually and the uh, nephrons and the vasculature of the nephron and of the of the kidney. And then we have the the metanephros, which is the ureteral bud, 
and eventually the mesonephric blastula. So that blastula, the tissue comes down, forms vesicles, and attaches to the ureteral plug, and as it grows, it becomes a full kidney. So now I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> post a link in the description. It's just animation. If you had watched that animation before the video, it would have probably made no sense, but now watch the animation, and it should really put everything together for you. I hope you understood that. If not, leave a comment, I, I'll reply to, I'll help you guys out if you need. Um, other than that, I think that's it. Peace.